Wholesalers, do you know the difference between an assignment fee and a release fee? And do you know why a release fee will make you significantly more money, help you close significantly more deals in a shorter time frame than your typical wholesale assignment? If you don't, welcome, we're gonna show you how, and hopefully we can do deals together someday and make each other a lot of money. So, for those of you who don't know what an assignment is, what is an assignment? An assignment is the assignment of a contract to a buyer. So you're on a contract with a seller for $100,000, you find a buyer for $130,000, you assign the buyer your rights to that contract for $30,000, he pays the 130 at closing, the seller gets 100, you get 30, you walk away, scotch free, it's great, can't beat it. But, why are release fees a little bit better than your typical assignment fee? Great question. So, assignment fees are limited to cash buyers. You can't have somebody with a bank or with any sort of form of financing buy the property unless it's hard money or private money. And you have a lot less buyers to choose from. <clears throat> when you're doing the typical assignments or typical wholesales, you're usually looking for really crappy properties in a really crappy condition that you need an investor to come buy. Therefore, you're limited to the amount of people that you can get into that property and limited to the amount of options you have for that seller and also for yourself. Therefore, you're gonna be making a little bit less money. So why are release fees a lot of it better? Glad you asked. A release fee is the releasing of an ovation style contract. What does that mean? An ovation allows you to put your wholesale on the open market, meaning the MLS. It allows you to close with a buyer who is using a bank. When I say bank, I mean conventional financing, FHA financing, VA financing, time to own financing. It does not matter what type of financing they are using. They can buy it because you're not assigning them the contract. You're releasing yourself from the contract and putting them in contact with your seller, allowing you to take the difference and make significantly more money. This also lets you have a broader access to who you can choose from for your buyer. So when you list something on the open market, you have not just your your cash buyers. It allows you to work with agents, it allows you to work with everybody who's in the market for a house. Therefore, this strategy allows you to not just offer on really crappy, really distressed houses like you would on your typical wholesale deal, but allows you to offer on houses that are beautiful and mint condition because you're releasing yourself from the contract, putting them in contract with an M buyer. There's a very intricate process. There's a lot of things that go into it. I made it sound easy, but I'd love to teach you how members in our community are closing two to three of these a month rather than their typical wholesale deals and why they make significantly more than any other wholesaler they know because, because this tactic is extremely powerful, especially in 2024. So this is what we call Wholesaling 2.0. Don't get left behind. Don't be stuck with only one style of wholesaling. Check out our community. We'll teach you exactly how you can close your first Novation or Wholesaling 2.0 deal using this tactic right here. Make yourself a lot more money and get your first closing within 30 days. I'll see you there.